Ever since then, she's had a, a really interesting story. Yeah, uh, that might be her. That is her. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her I said hi. <laughs> What's your first name? <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> Dominic says hi. <laughs> I see, I was crazy. We were talking about you just now, you know, yeah. I used to do some pottery. And it's a signed piece pottery. right here. Hey, look who it is. It's 2023. Yeah. Jeff is still here oh, yeah. among us. And uh, now he's gotten into furniture sales. What yeah. are you doing? Storage unit uh, cleanouts or something? I did a storage unit cleanout. Yes, wow. Yeah. And I have your uh, Winnie the Pooh items. Excellent. So you could hang it up in your room at night. and. No, they're actually for someone. It, it'll stop uh, you from having bad dreams. <laughs> Here's the handoff. Now I got to hand you something. All right. The worst part about it is Let's do the deal, man. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so Jeff and I are making a little deal here. Uh, I got him the Piglet and Winnie the Pooh set there, and Jeff has laid out a bunch of brooches for me. So we just organized them all, and we're going to make a deal on it, right? So how much for all these? $40. Did I negotiate with you? No. No, right? Right. Just doing a 40 Yeah. No, and I get the bag. Yes, all, all right. the rest. There's the negotiation. <laughs> that, that's true. Yes. I did it. Well, I asked. I just asked if the yes. bag was included. Yes. Yes. This is, uh, Jeff said, the best piece. I, I tend to agree with him. Uh, this is a Weiss, and you can see really nice colors on this one. Um, all of them are functional. The pins are all um, working in the back. They all set in. This one here, Jeff, did you say this one was silver? That's sterling. It's marked so in the back. This is Mark, Mark Sterling Silver. Okay. So that's a good one. Uh, that's a listener. A listener, a turtle. Mrs. Primetime I know is gonna like this because she, well, look at that, it's really blinging on there. So she loves animal brooches. There's another one here, you've got a butterfly brooch, which I know she's gonna like. I know she's gonna like the Christmas tree. This bingo one is cool. Candy cane, another one that's um, you know Christmas related. You've got the angels in there. Uh, you got flowers. Mrs. Primetime can do well with the flowers, I think. So. Um, and there's this one here, which looks like it's handcrafted bronze. So some people like stuff like that. Um, that's pretty neat. That one stuck out to me that too. Flower. Yeah. That's 1960s. 19, this is a really nice flower. Actually kind of matches your, uh, your shirt there, Jeff. <laughs> Purple and blue. Can, you should wear this as a vendor. <laughs> oh gosh, that's cool. And uh, I think people who like sewing will, will enjoy this one. That's pretty cool. Uh, all right, Jeff. So we'll do the deal. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah, absolutely. So now I'm going to give Jeff his $20 back plus another 20 So partly paid for by Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Now I did look around at a bunch of the vendor booths. The problem is there weren't too many vendor booths for me to look at. It is Memorial Day weekend. I really came here to make the deal with Jeff. I did find one thing I thought was pretty cool. It kind of typified my day here. So let me show you. These are very interesting. They're vomit bags used in promotion of the horror movie Mark of the Devil. They're not worth much because there's still a lot of them on the market. People just hoarded them at the time. You could see it have the vintage uh, Cardo pack label on the bottom. Um, you could get them for like $9.99 on eBay, you know, and when you see multiple of the same ones like this at a sale, that's an indicator that, you know, there's still a lot of overproduced uh, items like this available on the market. Sure enough, there is. So we're not going to pick them up, but I just thought the uh, horror fans among you would like this. Yeah, so I felt like I needed all five of those vomit bags when I was looking around at the different selections available today. There weren't even that many vendors, and the ones that were there tended to have a lot of overproduced, cheaper types of items, a lot of damaged items, and a lot of items that I could find for cheaper on eBay, which should never happen at a flea market. Uh, prices shouldn't be that inflated. So... Uh, it was good to see Jeff, and I also saw Nanette and Dave, so shout out to them. Uh, but uh, I'm going to head off, enjoy my Memorial Day weekend, and then we'll continue this video at the next treasure hunt. All right, this is the first one on our stop, and looks like there is a bunch of stuff on this driveway. 
How much are the Funkos? Joe, how much are your Funkos? How much are what? The Funkos? Uh, they're uh, five dollars. Five bucks? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Would you do three dollars on this one? Sure. Okay, thanks. Do you know what the price is on the mugs? Price on the cups? Oh, those are 50 cents each. 50 cents each? Okay. Yeah. yeah, so be on the lookout for the Starbucks City and State Cups. People love them because of all the different scenes on them. So we've got Toronto. We've got Florida. Really nice. I like the colors on that. We've got, we've got Maine. It's a nice one as well. And then we've got my state, New York. And then I also like these Tigger cups because there's two of them and I'm gonna sell them together and make it much more worthwhile. Uh, maybe a couple would like both of the Tiggers, so they're front and back. And it's from the Disney store, which also helps. So we're gonna load up on all these cups here. All right, so once again, dispelling the myth that Funkos are like Beanie Babies. Completely false. I have shown that many times on this channel. Uh, lots of times you see me do bulk Funko buyouts, and I've shown you what some of them go for. Uh, we've talked about looking for ones that have stickers on them, exclusives, limited editions, but they don't all have to have that. I've also talked about if it's a popular series or title uh, like this one for Rick and Morty. So uh, this one should sell for around 27 bucks or so, which is why I try to get the individual unit price down to about two to three bucks, which is why you saw a little negotiation there. Now, in terms of the Starbucks mugs, uh, this is about a $45 mug, the main one. And I'll give you another example here. The Toronto one, that's about a $37 mug. Now, while that might sound great for a 50 cent buy-in, also keep in mind to look for other international mugs because some of the prices on them could go well up into the hundreds of dollars, even approaching the $1,000 range. Also make sure you're looking for the Starbucks tumblers. Some of those go for crazy prices as well. People collect this stuff and will pay big money for the hard to find ones. So as an added bonus, I asked if they had a box that I could put the mugs in and they gave me this basket for free. So that's just another addition to this little haul here. And um, I think Mrs. PT is gonna like it. So free bonus points for prime time. tables ripe to be picked. Let's go over, see what we can find. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how much this candlestick holder is? Like, or actually I, I see the price. Do you know uh, how old this is? My wife bought it probably over 15 years ago. Over 15 years ago? Yeah. I mean, it looks old. Um, I don't know where she got it. She's yeah. not here. Okay. She's not here. She left me to go yard sale. Oh, okay. With her friend who was supposed to be helping out. Okay. They both drove away. Okay. And gave me the money back. Smart lady. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Stupid man. <laughs> Stupid uh, man. All right. You know? Yeah. Uh, so I really don't know much okay. about anything other than okay. I control the purse. Yeah. All right. That's all right. All right. I'll but pick it up. I think it looks cool. It is. It's yeah. really cool. It's yeah. very unique. Yeah. I've, I've never seen one like it. Yeah. No. Anywhere. No. All right, thanks. Yep. So your wife's also into pottery, huh? Yeah, she used to. Um, she used to throw pottery. Oh, really? Years ago. Yeah. And, uh, ever since then, she's had a, a real interest in pottery. Yeah, right, that might be her. That is her. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her I said hi. <laughs> What's your first name? <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> Dominic says hi. <laughs> See, I was to see we were talking about you just now, you know, yeah. I used to do some pottery. And it's a signed piece right here. Some pieces here. Yeah. And he said, that's probably your wife and it's you. And he said, well, tell, tell oh, her. Oh, well, maybe you could ask her how uh, how old the candlestick holder is. No, 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 I'm, I'm doing good. I'm behaving. 
Um, you know that you know that uh, double candlestick. You know the one that looks like a U with the the. Uh, when did you buy that? Quite a few years ago. Yeah, about 15 years ago, she got it from her friend, so she doesn't oh, okay. really know its history. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. He's, he's looking at it. We, we yeah, I'm going to get it. Unique. Yeah. He's, he's got some interest here. And yeah. I got to stick with Dominic here because yeah. he's, <laughs> he's, he's a customer. It took, Tell her my nickname is Primetime. His nickname's Primetime. <laughs> he's, he's a character. I, I, I relate to this. I am a character. A <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Take thanks. Well, listen, I like you so much. I'm going to have to even this off to $10 because I like okay. this. I like this little um, cloth with the pigs on it. It's pretty cool. It is cool. Yeah, I like that. All right, we'll get that too. And um, I'll take a dime on that 10% commission, right? All right. <laughs> I'll go to my car and get a dime for you. <laughs> All right, that guy was pretty funny. We had some good laughs. I hope you enjoyed hearing that interaction. He said that I was the highlight of his day so far, and we both admitted that that's pretty sad as a self-deprecating joke for both of us. But shout out to him and shout out to his wife for picking this up 15 years ago. It's strongly constructed. I like the distressed look to it, and the buy-in price of $4 is great. It has a faded maker's mark on the bottom. I'll show it to you right here. So if any of you recognize that, let me know in the comment section. Now I picked it up even though it has uh, flowers on top. I've long joked that flowers are my greatest enemy because I don't know too much about flowers, but admittedly, the amount of flower knowledge that you need for an item like this is pretty minimal. You just need to recognize that they're flowers. So hopefully we make a good flip on this and then we move onwards and upwards with our flower-based item sales. Uh, in terms of the pottery, that's something I've been trying to get into more relatively recently. See my recent estate sale video where I picked up some cool uh, pottery pieces as well. Uh, one of the things you want to look for is if the piece is signed. And as you can see, this is signed by Jay Durago. His first name is actually J-J-A-Y. I don't see any solds from any of his pieces, but I do see uh, two people have uh, something of his listed right now on eBay for about $60 to $70 or so. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with it. I like the look to it. It's really cool. I like the color blends on it. So it's pretty deep too. So for five bucks, I figure it was worth a shot. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about these two pieces. I see a play mat on the ground that I've sold for a lot of money before. How much is the play mat? Five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah. All right, deal. Cool. Hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. Daisy says hi. How are you doing, little buddy? Look at that. Oh, I love seeing these cute little dogs when we travel around. <laughs> Must be one of Daisy's friends keeping an eye on me. All right, here's the next one. Let's take a peek inside this garage and see if there's any goodies in there. Do you have any other brooches besides this one here? Nope. Just that one? No, the one above. Oh. That's a brooch. We got this one here too, okay. Yeah. That one's five, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. So they're from Brazil. What is, do you know anything know, else about it? But it came, my huh. my uh, sister-in-law 45 years ago brought them. Really? That big pot on the corner. Over okay. There. Huh. All right, that's neat. And then this one here. So they're, they're decorative pieces, it looks like. Yeah, I don't, exactly. Yeah, okay. Can I ask you why you're uh, taking pictures? How much... Yeah, because I like to record what it is that I'm possibly getting because then I look back on it and then remember it. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is, how much is this? I want $2 a piece. Okay, that's fair. All right, we'll do that. So definitely an interesting piece with a little bit of mystery to it. It says Resultado de Casamento on it, which for me looking it up in Google Translate means result of marriage. So the significance, though, of these things right here coming out, I'm not entirely sure. So if you have any information, let me know in the comment section.
Oh, and while I did get this brooch for two bucks, I passed on the other one for five. In general, Mrs. Primetime really doesn't like to pay more than two bucks per brooch when we go out sourcing. And, you know, if there's other items you see on tables that I don't pick up, typically that's just because there's just not enough value in it for me for what they're asking. So, for example, with the Funkos, I picked up the one Rick and Morty one, but I passed on the Wonder Woman one because that one actually doesn't sell for that much money. So that's the reasons. All right, everyone, I had to wrap up the garage sales because of some family responsibilities. So it's another day and we are out at the flea market. So we're gonna look around and see what treasures we can find. How much do you have in the ashtray? 60. 60? Yep. Okay. I mean, it's nice, it has that wood look to it. I know. Yeah. All right, thanks. Ashtray, ashtray. Giant ashtray. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> can use it for some other that things, is, too, though. Yeah, yeah. You can use it for you hold whatever. Yeah. But I mean, it comes like a hot dog cooker to me. A hot dog cooker? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that episode of, uh, have you those episodes of, have you ever seen This Old House where they have some weird yeah, object yeah, and they yeah. come up with all these fancy, okay. weird things of what but you I would use it for? I thought it was a hot dog. No, it's not. It's okay. an ashtray. He must have just been. He's, he's messing around. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now that was a cool, nice vintage ashtray, but that's something you wanna to try to pick up for like five bucks, because the most you could really sell that for, including shipping, would be around $37. So getting in on it for 60 bucks just isn't gonna work. So we gotta check those prices, folks. You know how much the posters are? Two bucks a piece. How much? 10. 10? Okay. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> <Throw it out>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a question on the posters again. Yeah. Uh, looks like there's nine of them. What would you do for all nine? Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks for all nine? Oh, wait a minute. Not the Beatles. Wait a minute. I can't do uh, the Beatles. Well, I got two separate. Huh? Well, let's try to get a bulk price because there's some stuff in here that's like Willie Nelson doesn't really go for as much. So, well, no, but it's, like they're all twenty. I get twenty dollars. Yeah. Okay, the Beatles. I can't well, wait, but I thought you said they were no, ten. I, what did you say they were? Didn't you I say gotta they were take the Beatles out? Well, there's a couple Beatles in there. I gotta take them all out. Well, you want you want to do a bulk price for all of them? Uh, how many do we got? You got nine. Do you sell if you have more, I'll look at more. Oh, well, I got hundreds. Yeah, I mean, I'll where look are you see. from? I'm, I'm right here. I'm local. Or you gotta come to my store. Okay. You know well, for what you have today, though. How many you got right here? You got nine. Two, four. No, I got one. There. I saw nine, but. What? I mean, I'm gonna one, give you two. a deal. Yeah, yeah. Because you've already looked them up. No, I, I promise, I have not looked them all up. Three. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, so there's nine. Three, six, nine. Yep. Uh, yeah, the Beatles are in here. Yes, um, but again, they're they're prints. Yeah. They're I not originals. I get twenty dollars from all the. Yeah. All right. Well. Nine. I, I'll well, do uh, seventy bucks. Yeah. How about sixty? You're killing me. Come on, sixty bucks all. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You got it. All right, so that was an interesting negotiation. I love how he's like throwing the posters around as I'm talking to him, trying to negotiate a price. I had to get him off of that Beatles fixation that he had and just have him focus on a bulk price deal, which going into it, I would be happy at 60 bucks. So uh, let's take a look at what I wound up uh, picking up from him. All right, so here we go. These are 14 by 22 in size. And you could see here, this is the uh, Vietnam Rock and Roll Benefit Dance uh, for University of California, Berkeley. Uh, very cool. Again, these are all prints. They are not originals, but people still love these things. This one really uh, drew my attention because I've done well selling BB King posters in the past. And this one especially because it has Tina Turner on it. Uh, Tina Turner just passed away, rest in peace, Tina Turner. So uh, someone will love to have this one framed in their man cave or wherever they 
display stuff. This one's cool uh, for all you meatloaf fans, Bad Outta Hell, uh, one of his most famous for sure. 1978 summer tour, definitely cool. And sometimes people will buy it also if they have a link to the area where this was done, like Jacksonville, Florida. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next one, I love this. Uh, play that saxophone music, everybody. We've got Rock All Night, the most shocking movie of the year, featuring the platters. Some nice, sexy imagery here uh, as well. So uh, very cool. You've got uh, the different stars uh, listed on the bottom. Very neat. And you can tell, even though it is a print, these are all prints again, but you can see uh, you have nice vintage font on here. So they are older prints. Hootie and the Blowfish. Shout out to the Hootie and the Blowfish fans out there going back to 1995. Definitely a cool one here. And I love the fading of uh, some of the, uh, you know, the color and the darkness. It's, it's really neat. That's uh, in, uh, done on purpose. Then we've got, this is probably the uh, least valuable of all of these. It's the Willie Nelson Farm Aid. Uh, not too many people into... Uh, Willie Nelson uh, right now I'm paying big bucks for him but uh, he is a legend so shout out to Willie but uh, that one is worth the least and that's what I was trying to emphasize to him when he was so focused on the Beatles uh, shout out to Ringo Starr you remember from one of my recent estate sale videos we had those uh, coasters and the Ringo Starr one was missing so we've got Ringo uh, focused in on this one so this is a cool one for any Ringo fans and then we've got another Beatles one right here as well uh, also some other bands uh, listed and I like how it has the 1960s date on it so that's cool and here we got another Beatles one so uh, Empire Stadium Vancouver British Columbia very cool piece I'm gonna do well on these overall which is why I was willing to pay the 60 bucks now the other reason I was willing to make that deal even though he claimed he was losing money on me is that he gave me an opportunity to come into his shop and buy a lot more of these in bulk including some other things so uh, i'm excited to see if we could do a private deal as well to make things happen so we'll see all right so we're over at another vendor and i really love this wow. for just five dollars this coloring book i mean it's giant size you can see it says 1940s but it's actually a little bit earlier than that you just have to be able to read the Roman numerals here so that one is 1937 because we have three X's a V which is a five and then twos you add that onto it so that's 37 and um, we don't even have a single page here that's colored so these go for good money so I'm gonna pick this up for the five awesome excuse me do you, who's selling this yeah. is it you're selling it do you know what what's your price on the pounds poster um, 10 bucks yeah. yeah I'll probably take it out of the frame but no 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 I will I'm just saying when I eventually you know what, what I'll do with it I'll take it out of the frame but I love dogs so I, I like this yeah my wife does too she's gonna get a kick out of this all right we'll definitely pick it up all right, so there's another reason I picked up this poster. You may have noticed it. I didn't want to say it right at the time, but now let me show you. All right, so as you can see, we have all these awesome dogs. And as we move our way down, look at that. We have an original signature and it's a limited edition print. I can't find one of these right now on eBay. So for 10 bucks to get a signed, picture with all these dogs there's definitely gonna be a buyer on it and being limited edition that's an extra bonus so very happy with this now I just have to hope that mrs. primetime doesn't try to claim it <laughs> all right well those are the finds for today at the flea market you know the flea market still has not returned to its pre covid glory days uh, not that many vendors here today and really no excuse for it it's not like it's a holiday weekend or anything like that it just is what it is a lot of people selling just a lot of bulk inventory things like you know cds dvds you know, it's very common types of items so i'm um, happy with what i found you know it really becomes a place now for me to just go and enjoy you know a sunday morning and pick up a few things and talk to people make some deals 
uh, I had a great conversation with uh, Jack, who's a follower of the channel. So uh, thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. Your kind words towards Daisy were very much appreciated. I'm going to give her extra belly rubs for you. Well, speaking of Daisy, hello there. How are you doing today? Look at you wagging that tail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are happy because you have gotten so many extra chin scratches and belly rubs. It is unbelievable. Lots of shout outs from all of your fans like Jack at the flea market. So if you want to give Daisy a special message, just let me know and I will be happy to oblige. Thank you all for your Daisy fandom. She really appreciates it and we get a kick out of it too. So we'll see everyone back at the next video, everyone. Take care.